Here is a quick tip for new home builders, and that is to make sure that the roofs are loaded. All of the shingles are on top of the roof to allow for the weight to be distributed evenly down through the wall framing. Otherwise, you could end up with some structural cracks if you install the stucco before installing the roof or loading the roof. And this is something they didn't do a long time ago. So somewhere down the line, somebody figured out that it's going to be better to have most of the weight on top of the roof, like we have in this situation here before stuccoing. Next up on the list, if you are going to load the roofs or install the roofing like they did here, make sure that you leave enough room for the plasterers to install the stucco or the carpenters to install the siding. Otherwise, you could end up with a lot of ruined roofing materials. Look at right here. I'm not about to suggest that the roofing paper here that was black at one time is ruined. However, I can suggest that you could imagine what it would look like if we had stacks of roofing tile like this right here that weren't protected while they were plastering. And for those of you wondering why this area here isn't loaded with roofing tile, that would be a good question because if this was my job, it would be loaded with roofing tile. And the roofing tiles would be at least 30 inches, maybe three feet away from the wall here. And the plasterer could simply cover up the roofing materials to protect them while they were plastering. But either way, this gives you a pretty good idea of what type of damage the plasterers could do in a situation like this where they had to plaster certain walls and you, for whatever reason, installed all of the roofing before they could do that. Another problem you could have if you install the roofing before you install the plaster would be the fact that the plasterers could break the roofing tiles. This might not happen on composition shingles or other roofing materials, but it could happen on wood or tile roofing during the installation of the siding or stucco. And I don't think it's necessary to load the roof before you install siding, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to check with your building inspector or local building authorities. Because most of the jobs I worked on with siding, I either loaded the roof, finished the roof, or made it a priority to install all of the siding in the areas I needed to so that I could install the roof. And the last tip I want to throw out here is if you notice there's a chimney here and this chimney is going to be stuccoed. If this was me, I would have probably installed siding here. And the reason for that would have been so that I could have installed the siding and then installed the roofing to make the house weathertight as soon as possible, sooner than later. So if you're designing a project, make sure that you consider this option. Because if I remember correctly, they had to wait until this was stuccoed before they could install the shingles here. When to speed up the process, all you would need to do would be to install siding on the chimney and then install siding on this wall here and then you could have roofed the entire house. And then you go back and install the siding in the areas that are not going to be affected by the roofing. And even this area here, if you could have installed a different finish on it or designed the roof differently, you could have roofed the entire upper section of the house without creating any problems for the person who was going to install siding or stucco or other wall finish materials.